Hello viewers. I have a vintage Lakewood box fan. Oh boy. This fan is probably about, if not my favorite, like if favorites number one, if it's not number one, it's like 1A. This I absolutely love, love, love. Those of you who follow me or subscribe um, know that I'm a big McGraw Edison fan, fan. <laughs> um, but in terms of all fans, like all time, um, this like ranks in there. Like this, this, well, a lot of my collection is every variant of every Edison box fan made. Um, I do have a handful of Lakewoods because I think these things were so adorable, made so well, and that quite honestly, if you have one today, you can run it every day. Just keep it oiled and, and, and clean, and it'll just go, 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 and go, and you don't have to really worry about it at all. Um, this one, I like so much because this is the older style blade set before they went with the the, um, I don't know what you call them. Um, I don't know what you call this style blade set versus the slightly newer one, still with the same cabinet, whether it's the eggshell blue or the tan cabinet and the other variants that have come out over the years. This is almost like what they say to me or they say it about like cars in the 1960s. I know this is not a 1960s fan, but cars in the 60s and 50s were almost considered art, right? With the big fins on them, very decorative, but done in a classic, like styling way. And I have always felt that way about this particular fan, not only because of the monstrous cabinet that you can put it in the window on exhaust or taking air in, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter how skinny your window is, how wide it is, this thing will sit in a window because it just has so much surface on that cabinet. It doesn't have a cheap strap handle like all my beloved Edison's do. I actually trust picking this up by the handle. I never pick up my Edison fans by the handle or even many of the Lascos that they, they break uh, the, the, the strap. But what tops it all off is like they say a good set of wheels on a car make the car is this blade set. To me it just gives it that personality from the sharp edges on the like kind of the top part of the blades it just it looks super cool it fills out the cabinet when it's just sitting there it just it just looks amazing um i also really like the openings on the hub now there are some um for example toastmaster fans i've seen that have these are more horizontal or rectangular openings i've seen um like more vertical openings uh, and not just a one little slit on like the modern, more modern Lascos or Eastern Electrics. When I say more modern, I mean like still in the early 90s or that little circle. Um, this is cool. It, and it also seems to serve a purpose because you can get to the freaking oil port. <laughs> These also have oil, oil ports. And that's another reason that they're, they're just so easy to service and work with. All that being said... And I know these aren't impossible to find. They're out there. They're on eBay. You can find them in the Goodwill store, the thrift store, all the different places, Habitat for Humanity, the Restore, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The tag sales, flea markets, yard sales, garage sales, all of that. While you can still find them, um, they're a bit rarer than the slightly newer models. But this one that I got my hands on, and I've been looking for for a long time, is like pristine, really clean. Uh, there's a little dust on it. I have not used it and I will not use it because to me it's more of a museum piece. Um, I will take care of it. Uh, if I come across one that's a little banged up, um, then I would probably run the banged up one more frequently, still take care of it. But uh, I just don't, something that's so mint, there's not yellowing. I mean, this is all, white. There's no really rust or anything on the screws. It was just, it was 
taken care of. There's a, some minor scratches and it still has that smooth feeling except for the a little bit of dust on the top of it. I don't have the original box. So there's a little dust and I try to keep my collection covered up with a, a sheet on the shelf. So this gorgeous fan <laughs> um, will not get used. It will just sit and look amazing. Am I over the top with this stuff? Yes, I probably am. So let's turn it on. It's probably gonna do our typical Lakewood, very slow, quiet, low. Very normal sounding um, startup for the Lakewood. I have watched other people do videos on these fans and they always comment, oh, the blades are out of balance because they look at the center of the hub. That center is not a perfect circle. That is why it looks like it's bouncing. But if you focus on the hub, you focus on the blades, it's bounced. Medium. This is probably the first time I've turned this fan on in seven years. And the, the last time I turned it on was the first time I turned it on. So again, I really don't use these. And a powerful high. It's so deceiving. It's so deceiving. This is a Kmart branded fan, which you probably guessed by the, um, color of the cabinet it's just so cool that stores would do that they would private label or relabel you know like Kmart it just you don't see that anymore I probably missed the spin down and do it again that is one powerful fan Spin down's not bad, it's pretty good. And then the back side of the fan, oh, these are heavy, I love it. I just love how the color of the, the metal, you know, it's not like an off-white fan with off-white blades and it all kind of blends together. It just gives it personality, it's just so cool. Like those windings, I'll bring the camera in. Not a broken slat on either side. Not, not, I can't really detect any yellowing. It's just, I, I just don't want to use it because of, because of how rare it is. So if I bring the camera in, look at those windings. I mean, really. <laughs> I would like to hear in the comments, would you, if you had your hands on this, would you just run, stick, pop this in your window and run it? Or would you uh, keep it as kind of a museum piece like I have? And thankfully, I, am, I do not take it for granted. Thankfully, I have the means to be able to do some of this um, with this hobby. And uh, it's kind of cool. Let me know what you think. Um, you might have seen my other video. I know I predominantly do have done a lot of Edison videos, Toastmaster videos. But I do have um, another Kmart Lakewood fan with the slightly newer blades. Uh, the grill got a little beat up and I, and I tell the story on that video. So check that out as well. Um, at some point I will do a video with all my Lakewood fans in, in the video uh, as well. So thanks for watching, like my video, subscribe to the channel, comment, let's get the discussion going, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.